and in this video i am going to tell you about codesep js framework so why actually the codesep js framework this is a new framework and I, it's a kind of advanced framework where we can implement the web api and mobile automation very easily it has so many built-in configurations which makes the work very easy and much more compatible and of course best readable framework and if someone don't have any experience but still want to get have a hands-on on the automation definitely this is the go to the free go to, very go to framework where you can just understand everything how to configure how to set up how to launch the browsers how to use the different helpers and how we can implement the api automation so basically this codesep.js framework has lot of advantages which i am going to give in very detailed description in the coming slides but this is uh, the best automation framework as far as I have used in my career. So that's why I'm making this video and hopefully it will definitely help you all. So coming to the CodeCept.js automation framework, uh, let me share you the next slide. So here if you see, uh, this is a kind of overview of the CodeCept.js framework. If, uh, by seeing the slide, you can get to know like it has the possibility of implementing the web automation, mobile automation and of course API automation. So basically these are the main, uh, main uh, the important automations which we will be uh, implementing for kind of functional testing. If you come across a kind of performance or load that is actually the different type of uh, the testings but coming to the functional and UI automation maybe you can use this CodeCept.js framework where you can implement all these with a very easy setup. So here if you see uh, the web automation it has the different helpers to implement the web automation. Here if you see it has the helpers kind of playwright, web driver, puppeteer, protractor, test cave and nightmare. And these are the helpers uh, uh, based on our requirements we can just choose the best framework and we can implement in our project. So coming to this playwright helper it has the compatibility for the multiple browsers. So you, you it has the compatibility to launch the chromium browser, safari and of course the firefox. You need to just mention the browser name and it will just launch the browser. We no need to have the executable files loaded or downloaded or installed in our system we just need to use the browser as a chromium safari or firefox then it will launch the browser and it will do all the functions which we have written on the script to perform the automation and in the same way coming to the web driver it's a kind of the selenium related and puppeteer puppeteer and playwright it has the only the main difference of the browsers puppeteer where it has only the compatibility with the chromium browser but for the playwright it has the compatibility with the safari and of and uh, along with the firefox and protractor test cave nightmare so it has the kind of uh, little bit differences but based on our requirements we can just use the helper and we can uh, write the automation scripts coming to the mobile automation we have these two helpers apm and detox detox uh, honestly i didn't get a chance to use the detox but apm i have tried to implement it on the mobile automation and coming to the api automation it has different types of helpers kind of rest graphql data factories and mock request so these data factories is generally kind of used for the data management where we can just uh, uh, using the APIs we can create the data and we can delete the data so in that case we can just go for the data factories and it will make our work very much easy and data management is up to the point and it will satisfy all the requirements that is required to perform the automation generally for automation it's the best way to have the data management in the case of kind of creating and deleting the test data rather than just passing the static data every time via excel files or some other files so in that case this one is the best option and coming to this uh, why codesep.js so till now i have just spoke about a lot of advantages and all but uh, why the question like codesep.js framework is best suitable so here you can see the points which i have mentioned like why uh, it is actually the open source testing framework and it has the support for uh, cucumber like bdd and we can easily set up for the web api and mobile automation and it has as i shown in the previous slide it has a lot of uh, different helpers which will make the easy which will make our work very easy and it can configure it has the actually inbuilt reporters where uh, we can just use those reporters and we can generate the html allure and report portal so this kind of documentation is very much clear in the codesep.js site you can need to just go to the site and you can just explore it is very easy you can set up set it up very easily within very less amount of time and it has uh, the best uh, uh, way of handling the flaky test so generally while writing automation we could have everyone could have come across this scenario of handling the flaky test flaky test is kind of generally it will randomly fail and we are not sure like when it will fail and why it has failed because it is very random sometimes it may pass sometimes it won't pass the same script so those kind of uh, easy handling of flaky test is there using the retry step 
and data management easy like as i told in the previous slide we have this api data factory and graphql data factory with that we can just uh, create the data and delete the data using the apis and we can just play around with it however we want we can just use the apis and to create the data and it has this capability of doing this parallel execution so parallel execution these days it, it, it is like a minimum requirement for to perform the automation so if you have this parallel execution uh, with the framework is possibility then uh, it is very easy to perform the scenarios we can just uh, divide the scenarios and we can just run this parallel execution in the different browsers and we have actually the setup of service workers in CoreCept.js so I will just show you the documentation also like uh, how we can generally implement this parallel execution and it has uh, provided the interface CoreCept UI so it, uh, we can just use some command to just launch the CoreCept UI so where there we can have this play button and all we can just play it and we can run the scripts and we can get to know what exactly the script is doing like with the steps like kind of console so we, for that we just have the uh, CoreCept.js UI okay and that's it guys this is the basic overview of the CoreCept.js so please subscribe to my channel for more videos uh, like I will show the basic setup and all the more the videos will the coming videos will be more informative and definitely you are going to like it and definitely it will be useful for you until then see you soon bye